Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a 10 products I am eyeing and not buying. So five products I definitely wanna try out and five products that I will not be purchasing. So without no further ado, let's just jump right in to today's video. Okay, so I am gonna be sitting a little bit off to the side. That way I can insert pictures of the products that I am speaking about. Starting off with products that I am eyeing and might be buying is the new Makeup Revolution Full Coverage Foundation. I guess this foundation was developed to match their full coverage concealer that they have. A few months back, I actually bought that concealer and I've been trying it out and so far I do really enjoy that concealer. I just need to pick it up in a shade darker because it is a tad a bit light so I do have to mix it at times but for the most part I do like that concealer so knowing that they did come out with a full coverage foundation it's something I want to try because yes I know people tell me all the time that my skin is nice I don't need to wear foundation and so forth but to be honest I love a full coverage foundation so another product that I am eyeing is the new Jaclyn Hill brush collection. I know there's so much controversy right now going on with Jaclyn Hill, but to be honest, your girl needs some new eye brushes, and I know Morphe eye brushes and brushes in general are bomb, and this collection is so sleek and pretty with the nice white handles and white bristles. Yeah, I know white gets dirty fast, but honestly, I believe the bundle for like, I believe this, let me count, one, two, three, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. For 14 eye brushes, they're selling it for like $42. Then you can use like a coupon code code and you get a shit ton of brushes for really cheap and they're good quality so I do like this collection. Don't come for me. I know there's a lot of controversy with Jaclyn Hill right now. Okay, so another Morphe product that I've been eyeing is the Jaclyn Hill Volt Collection. Not in particular the Hold Collection, just the Dark Magic or Dark Matters Collection. It's the green eyeshadow collection. Just because I don't have any green eyeshadows or hunter greens or like a lot of greens in my collection. And I really like this uh, collection that she came out with. She actually, actually uploaded a video using that palette yesterday. And I fell in love with the eye look she created using the palette. But yet again, this is another controversial palette here on YouTube and here in the makeup community as a whole with the whole formula situation. So I am iffy about purchasing it. I did do a poll on Instagram asking if I should buy it or not because it is $15. But at the same time, I don't want to buy something and then have to take it back and return it because I don't like it. So I really don't know what to do because I am liking this palette. I am eyeing it, but I don't know if I should buy it or not. So if you do have the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection, just comment down below and let me know your thoughts on that. Another product that I am eyeing is from BH Cosmetics. They're actually coming out with new glitters, and I swear I'm glitter obsessed. The colors that they're coming out are so pretty. They have like a purple that has like greens, pinks, and silvers in it, and then they have a pink glitter that has like purples and greens in it and I love when you mix glitters together and kind of create your own cocktail and just have something different going on in your eyes. Sorry that was my phone and my iPad but I definitely love glitters and BH Cosmetics is a very affordable brand so I'm definitely excited to see their launch with these glitters. The last product that I am eyeing is from Too Faced. It's their new Do You Full Coverage Foundation. So this definitely caught my eye because it's a dewy foundation that claims to be full coverage. And that is a steal because dewy, dewy foundations, in my opinion, is hard to create and hard to get them a full coverage capacity. And there are girls like me that have normal to dry skin or even dry skin that want a full coverage foundation that is dewy. So Too Faced went ahead and did that. I have yet to pick it up. I do want to pick it up, but right now that's like not in my budget. But I will be like going to Sephora and swatching it and seeing what the shade range is like. And most likely we'll be trying it out because dewy give me dewy all year round i just love the dewy look when it comes to foundation and skin in general next i'm going to be speaking about products i will not be buying um i only have four i don't have five just because i kind of like everything that's out there right now but the first product i want to talk about is the new bh cosmetics take me back to brazil real edition 
So the colors in this palette is stunning, don't get me wrong, but they are like the metallic shimmery shades. And when I purchased a palette, I want it to be a variety of satin shades, matte shades, and glitter shades. So I just know if I were to purchase a full glitter palette, I wouldn't really use it. And on top of that, I do have the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette, which is all shimmer palettes, and I always use that um, eyeshadow palette when it comes to adding a topper or getting some type of glitter so I just feel like I don't need it in my collection but it is a pretty palette if you don't have glitters or enough shimmers I definitely would suggest checking out that palette because it's really pretty so another product that I am not going to be purchasing is the new Tarte Cosmetics back to school like blush book so I had high expectations and high hopes when I saw this blush palette just because Tarte blushes are my favorite blushes out there. So I was kind of excited to see like what they put together and I felt like this blush book was kind of muted and I felt like it wouldn't look too well on my skin tone just because as you guys can see from the, this picture they kind of look dull it could just be this picture I, it probably I have to go in store to see it but these colors didn't really catch my eyes I kind of like more of that plummy pinky colors that are a little bit deeper but that's just personal preference so that's why I'm not too interested when it comes to this new Tarte blush book Another product that I'm not really interested in is the new ColourPop Fall Collection. I love fall, but I just feel like my whole makeup collection is warm tones and reds and oranges and yellows and just very warm. So that's kind of why this collection didn't really catch my eye. I would want to go for more of the plummy colors and burgundy colors this year. So that's kind of why I'm staying clear of the new fall collection from ColourPop. But this is really pretty. But like I said, I feel like I have too much of this in my collection. So this is definitely going to be a pass for me. So the last thing that I will not be purchasing is the new Halo Beauty by Tati. Her Beauty Clear Glowing Skin Kiwi Seed Boosters. Okay, so I just feel like it's weird that she came out with like vitamins and like supplements, knowing that she doesn't really have like a doctoring degree and all that stuff and know too much about that. Yeah, she stated in her videos like that she did a lot of research and blah 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 blah. Like, I watched her videos, I like her videos, and I've seen like everything about it. But one, I feel like it's very overpriced for what she's like selling. And two, I'm just really iffy knowing that, like not knowing exactly where her sources are from. Um, if you guys like have any thoughts and opinions on that, definitely leave that in my comment section. That's just my opinion. I kind of am just iffy about purchasing something like that from like a YouTuber. So yeah, um... I don't really know what to say. Um, if you have tried these and it's working for you guys, like that's great. I'm just iffy when it comes to putting like supplements and vitamins in like my body and stuff like that. But like I said, that's personal preference. Um, you guys can buy it. I personally choose not to. Well, you guys, this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on my post notifications. That way you are notified every single time that I upload a new video. And I'll speak to you guys in my next one. Bye!